welcome to MG Tracy. Well, it's a very autonomous day today. We're out in the conservatory and it's quite cold. I was going to give you a quick update on my mains uh, shark, the lift away that I've now had three months. Show you how you clean it if you're starting to have a bit of loss of suction or any problems with it. Uh, this middle model is not any hair wrap technology, so I'll show you some of the challenges you have with that. Uh, so I've now had the shark lift away for three or four months and there's a few things I found really quite refreshing actually not having to worry about charging batteries and having a mains cord uh, I found surprisingly good there were a few bits about it that I did find annoying this little clip here um, it constantly comes out when you're just vacuuming or carrying it, it's not strong enough to hold that heavy piping so find that a bit of a pain uh, the other thing is if you're gonna go for uh, the sharks that don't have any way to deal with hair you're gonna give yourself grief so if you are a family that has pets or someone has long hair then you're really gonna need to go for uh, one of the shark dual clean technologies that deals with the hair I'll just show you underneath here it's completely solid with hair and long fibers if you've got a carpet that has long fibers then the standard cheaper sharks you're forever trying to cut this off I'll show you how to do it now but if you're thinking about what vacuum you're going to want to buy and you've got long hair in your household then you need to make sure you've got a model of the dual system that Shark has or one of the newer Dysons that can deal with uh, anti-tangle technology. I think in these days we're going to start cleaning the Shark, give a quick service, get it back up to full speckies. You will need scissors for that hair, microfiber cloth and a brush will come in handy. Okay I'm going to start at the bottom here and uh, you can unscrew the bottom plate if you need to get at this but actually you have to do this every week so it's uh, just easier just to cut with some scissors or a knife and literally pull all this stuff off from here this is uh, just a week's worth it is a pain in the bum isn't it? I mean the technology to remove this hair is really just having a bit of a comb on the side it's not difficult it's not covered by patents it's just the different price points I think to put anti-hair technology on the listing and you can actually whop a bit more on the price it would seem from some of the manufacturers this takes me back to old days of having a hoover uh, the very early ones and this was just something you had all the time dog hair and once you've got hair caught in here then other stuff gets caught as well. Okay, that's about done. You can see there just what's come off the roller. So uh, now we're going to move on to uh, sorting out the filters. There's quite a few in the lift away, so I'll show you where they are. Uh, they can all be washed, or if you don't fancy that, I'll put the links below where you can buy a complete new set of filter packs for this to swap them over. It's really going to be done every three or four months. One other little bit of feedback, one of the things I found challenging when using this particular mains vacuum is if you've got a long carpet, it's fine. If you've got a short carpet, 
then having the suction on full, it gives you so much suction, you can't move it around the floor, even if you sort of adjust the switch here between hard and soft floors. So really on a, a short carpet, you end up moving this round to here. Now, there's two things, all you're doing is letting air in, so you're wasting electricity, creating a vacuum that you then don't use. But the other thing about this, of course, is that it's very noisy, because you've now got all the noise of the air hissing through here. So on a long carpet, it's fine, and on a hard floor, it's fine. But if you've got a short carpet, again, I may be looking at a different model sharp from this one. So the uh, first place to look for the filters is when you undock your tank here. Um, that's easy enough just to empty that out and give that a white round with a microfiber cloth. But this is where you're going to find your first batch of filters. So these are picking up fine particles and uh, you need to wash these. So they need to run under cold water and get them back to the original colour. It's the same with this one as well. Give this a good rinse under the water, get it back to being its normal colour. Uh, you need to leave that 24 hours uh, to dry and then you can put it back together. This other bit, the bit that holds those filters, is plastic. So again, that's fine to wash that under the water and then give that a clean, let that dry and then that can dock back. Inside, you'll find there is some build up of dust and debris here that you don't want in going into the atmosphere so give that a good wish round if you're unsure about this and you can see shark have helpfully put a little note there to remind you how to do the filters in this section now your next two filters are on the bottom here and these are sort of after the motor so these are really just before the air is returned to the room you've got a little lift away there uh, that cover, again, doesn't seem to be too bad, but give that a quick clean with microfiber. And then you've got your next two filters here, it doesn't look like two, but that one there. And on the back, you've got another one. Now, in this one, after three months, this doesn't need doing. But if it did, all of these can be washed or all of these can be replaced uh, with new ones from Amazon or whatever. Just make sure you've given this a little clean again in here. This area is about to return to the room, so you definitely don't want any dust coming back into the room. That just back in there, and then this one simply clips on. So those are the filters, and you say if you do that all every three or four months, you're gonna make sure you keep your shark in peak performance. Have a think about some of the things, my feedback on this at three months. It is noisy, air noise. If you have short carpets, if you have long carpets and hard floors, you're gonna be okay. And you do remember to do all these filters. And if you've got any long hair in your house, this is not the vacuum for you. You're gonna spend your life faffing around here. Make sure you buy one of the Sharks or Dysons or one of the brands that says it deals with hair wrap effectively. And then also I had that annoying clip that just keeps coming out and just sways around when you're vacuuming. Um, I think this type of vacuum is, compared to some of the Dysons, it is really old tech. But of course you're paying a lot less money for this. I expect to pay about $180, £160. And for that you do get a competent vacuum that will get your house clean. Thank you for joining me. I hope you found that useful. Please like, share and subscribe and come back every day for a bit more fun here on MG Tracy.